So if you come into my house or my apartment, this is the first thing you'd see. Because I'm on the main floor of this apartment complex, I can walk right through my patio doors instead of going through the main doors of the apartment and going in that way. So I've kind of set my place up accordingly. This mat came with the place, I want to switch it out, but I haven't yet. Then I have kind of my shoe area here as well as here with my coat rack and so on. So yes, a lot of shoes, I need to start going through them and get rid of the ones that are for summer and put those away. Uh, I have some chairs for outdoors when it was actually nice out to sit outdoors. And then I have up here, I have a bunch of my clean masks that I can just grab and go before I had to work. Then I have a bunch of winter attire such as like scarves and hats and mitts, etc. Then I have a little plant there. If we go over here, here's a side table with a lamp beside it. I have a futon here that's great for when I have company over because then I can just fold it out um, and they can stay there or I'll stay there and they'll take my bed. And then I got this carpet from Ikea for pretty cheap. I think it was like 50 bucks. And if we go over here, here is my lovely, very versatile table. I love it. I also got it from Ikea. Uh, it's great because it's the perfect height for me as a standing desk if I want to use it that way. Especially when I was working virtually for a while. It was really great to have. I also have these chairs that go with it. So it's great to do marking on or to just eat from or whatnot. So it's very versatile in that way. I have that monitor because I'm going to um, see if I can connect it to my laptop and then have two two screens to work with instead of just one. That'll be very helpful for marking and whatnot. So that's what I'm hoping to do. I have another lamp there. I have lights here. What's awesome about these lights and this lamp is that it's connected to my Google Home mini thing. And so uh, all I have to do is I say, hey Google, turn off lights. Hey Google. <laughs> Turn off lights. Don't make me look bad. Thank you. And it turns off the lights. Um, so when I'm leaving to go to work, I just yell at it because apparently it can't hear me when I talk normally. Um, and then when I come home from work, I just say, hey, Google, turn on lights. And it turns on for me, which is great. Um, just makes it really easy because there's no light switch there except for this one here that just turns on those ones and I, I like the atmosphere of these lights better. So then if we go over here I have my very tiny little Christmas tree and then my two chairs um, which make it a little bit more homey right next to my fireplace which I absolutely love and then my TV that I got for free because I don't really buy anything <laughs> if I can help it. So yeah, this was an awesome thing to be given and I really appreciate it. And it works really well just above the fireplace there. So that's kind of the living room area. I did those two paintings. It doesn't really work with the space right now, but I just put them there just just to have something up there for now, but you see that they're way too high up, they're way too small for the space. So, over here are my lovely little uh, slippers, and then I have this thing that's just full of like big sweaters or blankets and whatnot. This here, you can see that I really dressed up for this occasion. This is the um, closet for it's like a coat closet and whatnot, really what this thing is used for. But uh, because I don't use the main door that is actually here, um, I don't use this as a coat closet. I use it more as a storage closet. So I have my vacuum, my mop, and just other things that, you know, I need to be put away for now. As you can see, I have not fully unpacked and it's already 
mid-November, end of November. My goodness, time flies. And then this is my lovely kitchen. I love this kitchen so much. It's an awesome amount of space for one person. Um, and I just love the, the white cabinets. And yeah, it's, it's great. The amount of cabinetry, the amount of counter space is awesome. I love how there's uh, dual sinks there. This is my snack cabinet, the, you know, most important one. And then I have all of my, like, all of my plates and bowls and cups and whatnot up here. These are awesome. They were actually handmade by the other art teacher at my school. She is their ceramics teacher and she's fantastic. So she gave these to me. They have a little indent for your thumb, so it's really nice to hold. Nice little wine glasses or whatever you want to use them for. And then I have, you know, my toaster, my microwave, my toaster oven, just a lot of stuff on my counter, which I don't really like, but I use it almost every day. So yeah, and then I got, well, I borrowed this from a friend. It's a um, air fryer. So my boyfriend and I have been trying it out and it's been pretty awesome. And my stove. And then this is my coffee and tea area. Yes, it looks like it's also my alcohol area. It's not. Those are all empty from, and you know, been stored up over months, okay? <laughs> anyway, so I have this area for my coffee and tea. My kettle, my uh, espresso machine that I got from some friends as like a welcome home gift a few years back and then my Keurig machine which I got from my boyfriend which was awesome my coffee lives there and yes I have kombucha but it, that's been there for a while and now I don't know what to do with it and look how big that last scoby is like it's been in there for forever so I need to figure out what to do with that um so anyway my tea and coffee mostly my tea is in here um as well as in here so I have a bunch of stuff there and i think that's about all here's my fridge pretty basic um yeah i don't know what else to say i have a few plants there uh yeah then if we go into the bathroom i got most of this stuff from simon's actually so the two floor mats and the shower curtain that matches the floor mat uh, is all from Simon's. So is this. No, actually this wasn't from Simon's. This was from somewhere else, I forget. Um, but this cat soap dispenser that works very well with these thrift store finds right there and there. You can see I kind of have a thing for cats. I love them. Um, and yeah, it's just, Kind of a basic bathroom, but it works really well. This is just a bathtub shower with a really nice tall shower head, which is great because my boyfriend is six foot one. And my family, so my brother and my dad, are six foot three and six foot four. So if they ever visit, it's nice to have a taller shower head. Um, so yeah, this is just kind of my skincare stuff that I use mostly every day. Um, and then some other stuff there. Yeah, I really need to organize this, but that'll be for another day, I guess. And I usually have a hand towel here, but I just washed it, so I haven't put it back yet. So yeah, that's pretty much all there. Okay, so it's a few days later, but finally I am showing the bedroom before it was not clean. Now it's somewhat clean, so here is my room. It's a decent size for one person. That's kind of an overview. So if we go to the left here, there is a junk pile. We ignore that. It's been there since I moved in because I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. Then we go to this Ikea stand that is now my TV stand. Yes, I have a TV in my room now, even though I have a TV out in my living room and it's only a 500 square foot apartment. It's because this originally was uh, in the living room and then uh, I got that other TV for free 
and it's bigger and it's nicer. So then this one is for now in my room, which is kind of nice, I guess. I've never had a TV in my room before. Um, I have a bunch of art books here, a uh, bunch of like notes and stuff and like, I don't know, documents that I should probably save. It's just in a pile there. And then I have these bins. It's mostly like stuff for electronics and whatnot or um, stuff to fix up stuff in my apartment. Uh, I have a thing there. All you need is love and a cat, even though I still do not have a cat, but you know, we can dream. And then I have this jewelry, I don't even know what you would call it, jewelry chest thing. I guess it doesn't have to be for jewelry. I'm not using it for jewelry, but yeah, it's really cute. My mom got it for me a while back. Uh, we have one of these, what are they called? Like humidifier things where you put essential oils in. And then my printer and my dresser. So that's what's all on this end. We have a few different things. I should probably actually display them better, but these are things I made just on blocks of wood. I have a window that overlooks just the kind of garden area right outside of my apartment. And then here is kind of my bedside table. It's, yeah, okay, the garbage, you don't need to look at that. Um, but yeah, I have this lamp that I got from Ikea and then some candles. I always get stuffy at night, so a Kleenex box. And then in here, it's never this organized, but for you guys, um, I did. I have some books that I never read. I have a journal that I need to write in more. Um, I also have this uh, photo printer and I use it for my journal. So not there, but like that's a photo print. That's a photo print, so. Yeah, and then I have some nice pens and then the remotes for the TV. Um, I have a Roku for this TV because it's cheap. Medication, lovely. Um, yeah, this bottom drawer is a mess, but it has art supplies in it and just other pens and another art book. And then this is my bed. It's a queen size bed. I got the bedding from, well, this is from Simon's. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond, I think. And then I have lights up there with that tapestry. I got that tapestry off of Amazon for like 20 bucks. Uh, it was one of the best purchases I've made off of Amazon. Love it. And then this uh, was thrifted so I bought it for cheap um, it just was like a dark brown color and then I wanted it to match the other side um, just because uh, when my boyfriend comes over he likes to have a side table and then this is my laundry which is just a big garbage can uh, as you can see I have a lovely outfit on this is what I change into right after work and then right by the door, I have a painting that I did uh, right there that I've hung up. And then this is my closet. It's the biggest closet I've ever had, actually. And it is a bit messy because, yeah, I've been busy. But we have some sweaters and shirts hung there. My dresses and long sweaters are here. And then this is kind of just bedding. I have some shoes that I'm not wearing during the winter. And then this is, well, actually this and this I am not donating, but that is going to be my donation bin. So I've been starting to do that. This is my, it has all my art supplies in it. So when I do art, I look through there and also that box has a bunch of art supplies or like canvases and stuff. Then back there is my boxes and bins for packing because I tend to only be in one place for a year and then I move again. That just seems to be how it is. Um, but yeah, that is my place. I hope you enjoyed watching. It's small, but 
it's mine and it, I don't know, I think I decorated it okay. It's, you know, not fully decorated by any means, but for me staying most likely just a year, I think it's kind of nice. So if you have any questions or, I don't know, comments, please comment down below. Hit the subscribe button, the like thing button, I don't know. I don't know how to do this. Anyway, I will talk to you later. Bye.